God Who alone gives light to our days Many are the blessings He bears To those who trust in His ways Be the daughters and sons of Him Who built the valleys and plains our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. On this Father's Day weekend, I want to wish all of you fathers and grandfathers a happy Father's Day as we come together before our universal Father and ask for His mercy as His sons and daughters. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my, thoughts and and in my words and what, what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do. do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty oh Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the cloud its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands? When I set limits for it and fastened the door of its, bar of its door and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the, to the Lord. Lord. His love is everlasting. They who sailed the sea in ships, trading on the deep waters, they saw the works of the Lord and his wonders in the abyss. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord. Lord. His love, love is, is everlasting. everlasting. His command raised up a storm wind which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up to heaven. They sank to the depths. Their hearts melted away in their plight. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the Lord. Lord. His love, love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord. Lord. His, His love, love is everlasting. everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calmed, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord. Lord. His, his love, love is everlasting. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all. Therefore, all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. has risen in our midst God has visited his people The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Our Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we have in our readings one of the most popular gospel stories uh, in all of scripture. Uh, this classic story of the apostles terrified on this boat in the middle of the Sea of Galilee in this torrential downpour, crazy winds, uh, and a terrible storm. If anyone has ever been on the lake or any body of water when a storm is coming, uh, can identify that this is indeed a terrifying experience. And then we have this almost comic uh, contrast with Jesus, who despite the winds crashing the boat, even filling the boat up, wind uh, blowing the ship in all different directions, uh, he's there sleeping. And I love the fact that our scripture adds with a cushion, as if to like add insult to injury. You know, he's fluffing his pillow and turning over, uh, so comfortable amidst this storm. Now we know this story very well. They, the apostles wake Jesus up. He calms the storm and then asks the apostles, you know, why did you not have faith? I was here with you. I think for us, you know, this story is one that we've known since we were kids. It's one of the most popular ones uh, that is taught in Bible studies. You know, it's easy for us, I think, to keep these common gospels at a distance with a superficial understanding. Now, many of us may read this gospel and say, you know, it's teaching us that if we have faith, everything will be okay. 
And I don't want to completely discredit that because there is some truth in that. Uh, but Jesus is inviting us into a deeper understanding of who he is in this scripture. That this superficial interpretation of the text uh, may disrespect the depth of what's happening here and it undermines the real challenge of this gospel. You know, first, if we simply say, if you have faith, everything will be okay, it takes away the central context of what's happening. That here, Jesus, in calming the waters, is fulfilling the Old Testament. You know, we see it in our first reading, uh, read by John Holzman for us today, that Job, uh, the Lord is speaking to Job, and he's speaking of that it's only divine power that has the ability to calm the sea. You know, the Lord says to Job, who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb and said, thus, for, thus far shall you come, but no farther. And here shall your proud waves be stilled. You know, immediately we are called to mind Jesus' words, uh, be still to the waters. We hear in Psalm 8, 89, verse 8, O Lord, God of hosts, who is as mighty as you, O Lord? Your faithfulness surrounds you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. And once again, Jesus' action of calming the raging waters is a fulfillment of who he is, the divine Son of God. And I love the response of the apostles uh, it can be described as a rhetorical question because they would have known the scriptures. They would have known that it is only divine power that has the ability to calm the sea and the storm. And they say, who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? That the Lord's calming of the seas helps them recognize that Jesus is the divine Son of God. You know, this text, more than being about our, our, Him saving us, uh, from the raging waters of our own hearts is about his revelation as the divine son of God. You know, secondly, a, a cliche understanding of the text where we say, if we have faith, everything will be okay. It undermines the real challenge present to us in this gospel. Because we have an authentic challenge here. And we actually hear a beautiful question from the apostles to Jesus uh, that is full of depth and it gives the uh, respect to them of what they were going through. You know, they were fearing for their lives. And you can hear the emotion in their question as they say, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? You know, our apostles here are teaching us a depth of faith. That faith isn't some abstract belief in something be so far beyond us. Uh, but faith has, is dealing with a relationship. You know, that they know Jesus. They are right there in front of him and they are pouring their heart out to him saying, look at our weakness. Do you not care? Are you not going to save us? You know, I think it's a call for many of us to reflect on what are the waves and the shipwrecks in our own lives. You know, what are the inner turmoils that we have in our own heart and have we not said similar questions, asked similar questions to Jesus? Now, doesn't it sound like us, where we're going through suffering, to say, Teacher, do you not care that I am suffering? Teacher, do you not care that my mother or my father is sick in the hospital? Teacher, do you not care that my son or daughter is struggling in school? Do you not care that my son or daughter is struggling socially or in their extracurricular events. Teacher, do you not care that my marriage is struggling? Teacher, do you not care that I am suffering? When we authentically give these types of questions to God, we too, like the apostles, are praying. And so I encourage you in this gospel, uh, in, in response to this gospel, ask these questions. Because these questions recognize our frailty. They recognize that we need Jesus and they recognize that we need Jesus to be fully divine. Because 
as is fulfilled in the Old Testament, it is only the divine power of God that can heal the raging waters of our heart. We do not have faith simply so that everything will be okay, but we have faith because it is only the Lord Jesus who can calm the raging waters of our heart. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the The Father Father Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of heaven heaven and and earth, of of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, salvation, he came came down from from heaven, heaven, and by the Holy Holy Spirit Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became became man. man. For For our our sake sake he was crucified under Pontius Pontius Pilate, he He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now we present our prayers to the Lord Jesus, who calms the storm of Galilee, and we ask him to calm the storm of our heart. For the church, that we may place our trust in God when we are buffeted by storms that leave us feeling powerless and defeated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For our country's leaders, that they may find the courage to fight racism, sexism, discrimination, and inequality, so that all people may be treated as we ourselves wish to be treated. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work on boats and ships, that they may be kept safe while on the water. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For fathers, grandfathers, and all who have fathered us, and for all those fathers who have passed on to eternal life, that God may find favor in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For those whose lives are in turmoil, who feel that their lives are beset by a never-ending storm, that they may find safety and comfort in God's soothing care, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Almighty God, we offer these our prayers to you. We ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy in God is my soul at rest. salvation He only is my rock my strength and my salvation my stronghold my Savior shall not be afraid at all my stronghold my Savior I shall not be moved only in God is found safe 
my enemy pursues me. Only in God is found glory when I am found meek and found lowly. My strong afraid at all my stronghold my Savior I shall not be moved only in God is my soul at rest my salvation pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord may accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our, our good and the good of all this holy church. church receive O Lord the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, canceled out our, all our sins, by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we too be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy your name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only only say say the word, word, and my soul shall shall be healed. You shall cross the barren desert but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. 
the face of God and live. Be not afraid. I go If you pass through raging waters in the sea, you shall not drown. If you walk amid the burning flames, you shall not be harmed. If you stand before the power of hell and death is at your Know that I am with you through it all. Be not afraid. I go before you always. Come, follow me. And I Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. The Mass has ended. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Faith of our fathers living still In spite of dungeon, fire, and soul Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy Whene'er we hear that glory word, faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to Thee till death. Faith of our Father's we will love, both friend and foe, in all our strife. As love knows how By kindly words And virtuous life Faith of our Father's holy